Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Flesh Child with me, Hummusman300. This game is charming. I like it. I love you Miniki fan games so much. Oh, I don't want to go in there. That looks scary. Okay, is that a door back to where we just came from? Oh, hello. You don't say anything. Don't give me anything. Okay. Hmm. I guess we gotta go down the hole. Oh! No bueno. I don't like it. Ah! What is that? That is some Binding of Isaac stuff right there. Conjoined. Oh, well, we took it out. We took it out of the thing. Ah, we got a twin! Uh, uh. What does this thing do? Oh, she gives it a high five! That's... Oh, how cute! Yeah! Uh. <laughs> oh man, this game... I don't have a whole lot to say. It's just gonna be reactions to this game because I don't remember any of it beyond this point. I actually didn't get the automaton the last time I tried to play. Okay, so... We couldn't do anything if we went further. I, I guess we have to go back? Hmm. Body parts female brain, science key card, no key items, and a scalpel. Whoa, where's this? Now we're outside? What the hell? This looks like a hammer. What the hell is going on? Are we gonna meet Shitai-san? Oh no. Why are you slowing? I'm, I'm not touching the keyboard. What's going on? Oh! It, everything went black. Oh, I woke up. Okay. And now it's closed. It doesn't want me to go back in. Alright. Well, that was weird. Salutations, flesh child. May the host give you proper... You don't say anything different. You have no body parts to store. Let's go ahead and save. That's What's over here? Oh, I guess that shows our progress. We got a female brain there. I am not as knowledgeable as visible, but I know some things. For example, our language is more similar to our host's language than you think. If you'd like to know more, come see me a little bit later. Yeah, okay, okay. I want to talk to visible again. See what she has. I assume it's a she. I guess it could be either. I don't know. Hey! Human minds see, smell, hear, and feel things as they slumber. They enter a world separate from reality. These experiences are called dreams in the language we have acquired. Do we dream, you ask? No. We do not. Dreams are unique to the human species. When we rest, our brains integrate with those who are not resting, and then return to our bodies when we are done. It was interesting watching your dreams. All right, so, hmm. Okay. About face. If we choose the male brain, is there a different path to take? Like, different stuff that we can do? Alright, still no switch. 
The text color changed. That's interesting. Dash, 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 dash. Dash, dash, dash. Now this one's... No, this one was already always open. Alright, we can go straight through here, I guess, now. Oh, but they don't want me to. Well. Do I still have access to puddle form? Yes, I do! I can't get through, though! Can I stab? I can cut through the thing! What the hell? Okay, so I can't go in there. Why, why can't I go in there? They don't want me to go in there. Alright, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Where can I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? I seriously can't get under that? Come on. All right. Hmm. What do I do? I completely forgot what to do. It's been so long since I've played this. All right. No. Alright, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go find the guy who helps us with stuff. I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna ask him what's up. You talk to me, man. I heard what your nest taxes. You were told expressing human emotion is important for humans, or something like that. Expressing emotion. Well, how do I do that? Visible, help me! Put on your best face for this next task. It requires much more complex thought. Menu type changed. Menu type changed. Menu type changed. Menu type changed. Alright, let's go for the classic red. Alright, so... What do we do?! I totally forgot what to do here. We need a face, I guess. What's wrong with my face right now? Hmm. Check this one. Nothing in here. Oh wait, can I check the shelves? Can I check the shelves? Check that, check that. Check, check. Whoa! Relationship variances. A parasitic relationship is when the parasite gains more benefit than the host. Though the parasite does not destroy the host, the host is a provider, killing it would deprive the parasite. A parasitoid relationship, however, ends in death. A significant stage in its life will end the role of the host, making it fodder for the parasitoid to consume or manipulate. Why do we find that? Section C. Parasitoids. Parasitoid spends most of its life attached to or within the host organism. Parasitoids will eventually sterilize, kill, or consume their host in order to propagate their species. Parasitoids are usually bacteria, insects, or small vertebrates such as fish or birds. As of this writing, there are no true parasites larger than the common cuckoo bird. Parasitism is a non-mutual relationship between organisms of a different species. One organism, the parasite, attaches itself to, in one way or another, to the, another organism, the host. 
and this relationship the parasite will live off the host whether by consuming parts of the host or by depriving the host nutrients in order to sustain itself okay that's probably all important hmm Nothing, nothing, nothing. What do I do? What do I do? Hmm. Come on. Give me something to work on here. There's there's nothing to do. There's nothing that I can do. Dude, dude, dude. Dude, 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 dude. What do I do? Oh my god. This is dumb. This is like so dumb. It's the dumbest. What the fuck? The actual fuck am I supposed to do? Oh! Oh! My god, I'm so dumb. Alright, let's go in there. Oh, we're in a hotel now. Oh, I guess the floor mats block us from getting in. Do they? Why does that one not have a mat in front of it? Or like a glow? Oh, it's because the light's off inside! Alright. What does this say? Woodlick Heights Resident Bulletin. Key safeguard service. The front desk offers to hold your keys for you when you leave the building. Make your evening outings easy. Never worry about losing your key again. We guarantee that they will be safe in our hands. <laughs> More like safe in my hands. Is there one of keys? Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll do a mad dash to check every door. Okay. None of the doors work. What's in here? That one doesn't work. That's the Yuminiki way. Gotta check everything. Check ev everything. Oh boy, we got into this person's house. Key text says apartment 302. Okay. What's in here? Saturday, April 13th, 2013. Maria and I got in an argument and she ran out, probably back to her apartment. This is the third time. I don't know what to do about her. I really don't want to break up, but I don't know what to do. She left her spare key here. I think she forgot it. I think... Yeah, I think she forgot it because of the ar argument. I don't want to lose it. The way things are going, she might want it back. I hope not, though. Oh. Oh, you poor bastard. I think I remember what I have to do here. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm horrible. Why is there a flesh flower in here? All right. 
Nashville Gazette. Bodies of three missing discovered. The investigation in the Marigold missing persons case, which was to begin Wednesday, has instead begun this morning after the discovery of three bodies buried in a commercial construction site. The three were identified as former residents as former residents of Asheville's Marigold District before disappearing. Coincidentally, they all lived in an apartment complex named Woodlick Heights. Each of the bodies were missing various limbs, which were meticulously severed at the joints. The, sever- the severing is almost as precise as a surgeon with a scalpel, reports the APD coroner. The cause of death was, was determined to be shock and blood loss from the initial trauma. Nobody's asleep in here. All right, I'm going to go a little bit longer because... Yeah, just a little bit. I'm going to get upstairs and I'm going to start checking some of those rooms. Except for... What was it? 302? Yeah, I'm going to check everything but 302 first. Some child forgot this in the hallway. Okay. I'll check all the second floor ones, actually. 205, 206... Oh, hello. Ooh, someone's in the bedroom. To do. Grocery shopping, TPS reports, mail that one thing, visit Sheila. Housework, email grant, do dishes, murder Richard. Um, don't murder anyone, please. That would be bad. That's my job. <laughs> I'm so dumb, though. This first part of this this video is going to be a disaster. What's in 202? Oh, this apartment's backwards. Lucille, of all the times you had to be out, the other day I heard your child say her teddy bear ate your apartment's spare key. I remember you told me she tends to ferret away things like that, so here's a friendly reminder to check her toys. Imagine if she had car keys or a pair of earrings tucked away in there. <laughs> uh. Alright, so those are the doors that are available. What the Kites resident bullet and noise complaints? We boast about our quiet, thick-walled suites, but there are always exceptions. Please report any leaked noise complaints to the front desk. We value your solitude in a bustling city. Let us help you achieve a state of tranquility. <laughs> there will be no restful nights while I'm around. Come on, how do I get out? Oh. I'm dumb. Tried to use WASD. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. I'm gonna squiggle around. Like a big old squiggly. Alright. Oh wait, teddy bear. Teddy bear, teddy bear, teddy bear, teddy bear, teddy bear. Got the teddy bear open? Yes. A key fell out of its stomach. Acquired teddy bear key. Where does that go to? To Lucille's apartment, I would have guessed. That goes to 205, I guess. Alright, one more. Asheville Gazette. Vandalism's on the rise. In addition to recent events with the missing persons, police report that crimes of vandalism had some increased frequency. This morning, another vandalism was reported. A research facility named Sitismos Sciences, located in the lower arts quadrant of Marigold District, was found to have broken into sometime late last night. According to head research and director Cheryl Galvin, the alarm systems were turned off due to renovations. We're installing new doors and a new alarm system. As a small chapter of the larger institution, we figured there was nothing worthwhile to be stolen during the renovation. Lost a number of specimens during the vandalism in question. All the specimens were human brains, and while broken jars were found on the premises, no damage was done to the building itself and nothing else taken. We all thought it's funny, really. What's a thief going to do? Make a Frankenstein? You mean Frankenstein's monster. Anyway... I'm going to leave this episode here. I'll see you guys in the next video when we make a Frankenstein. <laughs>